part 10 of my Thailand story. Now, when the monk told me about the house, I was um, a bit skeptical. But you know what? I'm in another country with another family. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and just enjoy the time I have left because I know when I get back home, I'm dead. Plain and simple. By this time, all the cards are almost shut off. The only two cards that she didn't have access to, thank God, I still have and they're still very good on balances. So after that she starts to take me to look at land. I mean in land you can buy a nice piece of land for around $15,000 in Thailand. Uh, she told me, a, she showed me a, a piece of land uh, right across the street from her aunt's house. I mean, to tell you the truth, I almost bought that piece of lead because her aunt is, oh my God, smoking. But anyway, that's for a different life. It's crazy when you wake up and see what's really happening. Oh my God, that's terrible. Y'all stop fighting, my dogs. So after this, I spent four fun-filled nights, two with her and two with her and her aunt again. And, um, then it was back home to the U.S. And folks, that was the absolute longest trip I have ever taken back home. So we parted ways at the airport and, uh, I, you know, she pretended like she loved me and missed me, started crying again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but there's windows that you can see out through the whole place. And you can see that she stopped crying by the time she got down the escalator, smiling, and then on her phone. And that is a picture that I took right there, right before I got on the airplane to go back to Bangkok, to go back to the United States from Thailand. So check this out. Everyone wants to know what Mario looked like. That is Mario right there. And that's us on our trip to Thailand. It was absolutely crazy and absolutely a long flight back home went from Bangkok or Undan Thani to Bangkok, Bangkok to Japan, Japan to Chicago, Chicago to Northwest Arkansas and I landed to nothing because no one was there to pick me up. Had to get an Uber to go home and uh, that is when the shit show started. A well-deserved shit show so I went in there I thought it was over with got the keys to my new Corvette I popped open the garage and then she hopped in her brand new Mercedes and she floored it and crashed into the back of my brand new Corvette what did I do I did absolutely nothing because I deserved every bit of it. you know seeing my wife again and my family again for the first time after all that mess because all this lasted about 32 days it, it was pretty crazy and Christmas was coming it, it I messed up big time I messed up big time and I knew it and uh, all I could do was beg and plead for forgiveness and uh, thank God she forgave me but she has never forgotten. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I tell you in part 11.